my friends. <laughs> Boy, this is getting to be a noisy little video, isn't it? All these sound effects. <laughs> I hope you're doing well today, my friend. Today, we're going to be doing some more cartooning together, turning a little, uh, some simple shapes into a really fun character. In fact, today, I think it's another wacky character day. <laughs> Maybe even mashup day. <laughs> you like all these special effects I've invested millions of dollars into? <laughs> I enjoy them. Hopefully you do too. If not, they're annoying and I apologize. Kind of. <laughs> today we're going to draw, oh, before we draw today's character, let's share last week's drawing. It's the plain donut. Just a plain donut. <laughs> plain donut. Get it? <laughs> it's starting to sprinkle, so it's not going to be a plain donut for long. But we took a simple shape, a circle, created our donut, and then added the elements of a plane. Some wings and a tail. How about that, pilot? That's a pretty cool little... I'd love to be flying that. I'll tell you that. Uh, donuts. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder what they serve on that plane. Donuts! <laughs> anyway, let's get moving along. Today, in, in fact, moving along is appropriate for today's drawing. Mm. <laughs> did that sound like a bull? <laughs> if it did, <laughs> that's what we're gonna be drawing. If it didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Way too much fun today. So a bull, it's gonna be a mashup character. Well, I guess the character is a bull, but the name of the drawing is what's the mashup, okay? So it is a bull, and so let's do this. On our paper, create, just do this. This is not part of the character, but it's part of the scene. A little, this helps us establish the scene, a little curved line that goes across the bottom, all right? A little curved line, and so now the bull is going to be laying in bed. So the bull's, we'll see the bull's face, so here's his, Big old snout, just do an oval shape with your pencil. Now, if you've been watching me, you know I do light pencil and then I ink afterwards, all right? Light pencil and then ink afterwards. So lightly I pencil my little oval shape that starts off as, that's his muzzle. And then we create a kind of a rectangle shape on top of that oval. A rectangle shape. Doesn't have to be perfect. That doesn't look like a rectangle. It kind of kind of has some weird angles to it, but that's okay. That's what we want. His eyeballs will be inside of this part of the head, obviously. So two circles or two ovals. And let's see, horns of the bull. Do this. We need some S-shaped curves. So watch. See that? Kind of an S shape. And then we bring it back to the head. Like that. Two S shape curves creates the horns on the side. This side, S. Looks like an S. And bring it back to the head to give it some dimension. There we go. And he's got kind of a fuzzy little hairdo, just some curly Q lines on the top there. You can give him spiky hair, you can get creative, whatever you want. Now he is in bed. Let's see, maybe he's, he's under the covers, but he's kind of holding the top of the covers. So we need an oval here to start off his, he's going to be holding the covers. So an oval shape on either side, and that'll become his little hooves that are holding. So watch this. Here's your oval. Do this, a C shape on this side, and then... And that becomes his hand, or his hoof, <laughs> with showing a thumb, right? So we use this as a basis. 
See that? It's an oval. Watch this. A little, in this case, it's going to be a backwards letter C. Backwards letter C, just kind of a little squiggly line. Instead of it being rounded at the top, kind of flatten it off a little bit. And then come down and then back up to the top. All right. So that becomes his little hooves holding the blanket. Have you ever done that? Gotten right down in bed, held the blanket tight so you can get warm? <laughs> All right. So on his muzzle, we need two nostrils. Upside down letter U. Upside down letter U. Inside the nostril. So that will become... We'll fill that in with our ink pen. Okay. And then he's sleeping. So maybe we just do this at the bottom of his muzzle, a little curved line and his mouth is open just a little bit. Now his eyes aren't open. He's sleeping. So watch this, just little curved lines to indicate that he's, his eyelids are closed. And if he's sleeping, we get to put in these little, this is what you always see in the cartoons and comic books. If someone's sleeping, maybe they're snoring. <laughs> right? Or something to that effect. All right. So let's start inking our character. Now those Z's I want to make, I'll use my Sharpie and do it nice and thick. Z, Z, really snoring away there. And I start off small and make them bigger because bigger means it gets louder in comics. Okay, let's see. Curly hair. Again, you can do spike hair, whatever you think will work for you. And then we just ink over our line. S curves, and if I go slow, my, my ink pen won't get dry as fast. I mean, this is a brand new, I just took it out of the package, ink pen, brush, brush marker. But if you go too fast, the ink can't keep up with the tip. So it kind of, it doesn't leave a, a nice dark mark. So if you go slow, you get it. It just ensures that you get that nice dark line. Slow, especially on the wide part when you're pressing down harder on your brush marker. All right, it comes down here. All right, and you can go in and thicken up the hair, give it a little bit of extra volume on the line. Again, we call that line weight. Weight as in thickness or heaviness. Heavier on the bottom than it is on the top. Gives it a three-dimensional look. Okay. Two eyeballs. And our eyelids are just closed like that. He's snoring away. There's his muzzle. It's just an oval shape, right? Now thicken up the lines of his head just a little bit. Add a little bit more thickness, dimension. Right? There we go. Okay. Upside down letter U. Upside down letter U. Nostril nostril just little ovals right there's his mouth open ever so slightly as he snores away and his little hooves here that we used oval shapes to start with and then the blanket of his bed. I'll give it two lines 
Sometimes the blanket has a, I don't know, an edge to it, a different edge than the material of the blanket. And you can go in with your mar another marker and just give texture to that blanket just by putting some dots into that, right? Or you could do a, a pattern of a blanket, checks or stars or dots. I'm just going to do a little texture here. And then if you wanted to let your reader know that it was Again, he's sleeping, so obviously he's in bed, but you could put little elements in this drawing that helped emphasize where he is. So maybe put a, a rectangle off to the side that serves as a window, just like that with some simple shapes. And then in, in the window, as we're looking out, use a curved line to create moon and stars and this would get really cool when you started to color it right so let me take my magic eraser it's not magic <laughs> but it does magically make the pencil lines go away and those pencil lines were very important they helped us create the basic shapes that we needed right we needed these shapes to create the character rectangles, ovals, curved lines, triangles in some cases. But once we're done with this technique that I use, we don't need those pencil lines anymore. Now maybe you're drawing at home with just a pencil. That's fine. Then you don't have to go through this erasing like me. And your hand gets all tired from erasing. Because <laughs> look at all these pencil lines. I have to erase. That's how it goes. It is work creating art, but to me, it's fun work. I hope you have fun as you're drawing along with me as well. Oh, let me start up the old electric eraser crumb get rid of her. What are you doing? Why does some, everything have to make a funny noise? <laughs> I don't know, but it makes it more fun for me when I'm recording these videos. <laughs> I hope you had fun. Oh, and I never even told you why I drew this. Again, the mashup is not the character. That's a bull. But the name of the drawing is a mashup because it's a bulldozer. <laughs> now that's comedy almost forgot to tell you why what the inspiration for the drawing was it's a bulldozer bull dozer <laughs> sleeping bull <laughs> i hope you had as much fun as i did and you know i have fun from my laughter and my sound effects I do have fun. I hope you did as well. And until next time, please just be safe, take care of one another, and have a great day. <laughs>